Hello everyone, welcome back to my blog. This is blog number 8 and today I'm going to be talking about my first Thanksgiving dinner as a vegan and I'm switching up my media this week by doing a podcast. So this is my first podcast ever. I never really recorded a podcast ever, so bear with me on this one. But we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about like the nitty and gritties of the Thanksgiving dinner and how I was able to even eat food on Thanksgiving because I really thought I wasn't going to get any eating done on Thanksgiving because I'm like, how can I make these, you know, traditional Thanksgiving foods into like a vegan, you know, option? So I want to get into that now. So we're going to start off like what were my initial thoughts last year um when i was eating at the thanksgiving table and we were preparing the food so i live in nova currently and i go to my parents house on thanksgiving and traditionally we usually you know cook like three days prior to thanksgiving and my mom she usually prepares like turkey ham collard greens cornbread mac and cheese mashed potatoes sweet potato pie all that good stuff and i ate a lot of that so traditionally like growing up i would say i ate so much meat when it came to thanksgiving dinner like i loved ham that was like one of my favorites and i love turkey like turkey oh my gosh so good even though it makes you tired and i believe that's true i'm not gonna lie like turkey makes you tired But that was one of my, like, favorite dishes, you know, eating growing up. So I ate a lot of turkey, and the gravy consisted of meat as well. So my mom added meat from turkey and put it inside the gravy. I'm not going to tell her recipe right here. Sorry. Sorry. Um, But, yeah, she made everything, like, homemade and stuff like that. And, you know, the number one dish that I really, really loved was the collard greens. But of course, the collard greens have meat in it. And I ate that. That was like the biggest thing on my plate. But everyone loves my mom's yams. But, you know, I, I'm more like a savory person. So it's hard for me to eat something sweet on my plate with a bunch of like savory food. So I never really ate that so much, I would say. <laughs> so, so Thanksgiving rolls around. And this was last year, 2020 thanksgiving and i'm just like what am i'm going to eat for thanksgiving so me and my other sister were both vegans as well and we go home for thanksgiving too so we were kind of like confused what we we're gonna eat we didn't know if you know the food's gonna even be turned into a you know plant-based option so we were just like oh my gosh what food can they cook for us like what food can my mom possibly make for us and how can i like have a nice thanksgiving dinner i mean that's the main question like how can i have a nice dinner and still be full and still get you know that homemade that home feeling cooking that i I always get once a year in thanksgiving like how can i still feel that same way (laughs) that i felt for years by eating these like traditional foods that we had in our family so me and my sister we came up with a whole plan of what like i know my mom should add to the menu or how she can like make it as plant-based as possible and still include us in you know the thanksgiving dinner process and preparation because i enjoy helping my mom out when it comes to cooking thanksgiving dinner because there's about six of us in our family that usually eat on thanksgiving so it's kind of like a a huge crowd to cook for so we were trying to like keep it the same but in a way make it so we can still eat the food that she's cooking and not completely like say psych no i can't do it because um it has me in it so we try to find um we came up with a whole plan to find different type of foods that we still can eat and not like be worried about eating any type of meat or anything like that so we decided to go down a list of stuff and veganize it in a way that both of us could still eat it 
and have a full plate of food. So the first thing we had to like change around was the collard greens, of course. So initially, like I said, my mom puts meat in her collard greens. So for this Thanksgiving, it had to be, you know, X'd out, no shade. The meat inside of the collard greens were not it um, last year. It had to, you know, get by because of <laughs> me being a vegan. And that's absolutely one of my favorite dishes when it comes to Thanksgiving. So I we had to find a way around that one. So excellent out of the meat out of that so another thing we ate was potato salad that one's simply easy to make it's just potatoes and then of course any sauce of choice or anything like that we chose a vegan sauce to put in there that was pretty good also my mom makes homemade mashed potatoes which consisted of you know vegan sour cream cheese raw potatoes so that was pretty easy to you know stick with stuffing obviously was one of the things that didn't need to be changed around because there's no meat added into that unless you put gravy on top of that which my mom actually still made gravy and she put chicken in it but i didn't eat any of it because of course it had meat in it the next thing was the mac and cheese the mac and cheese obviously you don't put any meat in that either so that was pretty easy to like keep there the two things i did miss of course was ham and turkey so i had to completely like x that out of my whole eating situation for thanksgiving so that was not giving um thanksgiving is supposed to be a giving time right and it was just not giving in terms of me wanting to eat ham last thanksgiving and me wanting to eat turkey last thanksgiving so <laughs> i was kind of like salty because those are one of my two favorite things to eat and it's just like i had to give it up i mean i had to and last year my granddad actually came over and he cooked a fried turkey oh my gosh he cooked a fried turkey and i had fried turkey before i went vegan and it's so good it's just the best thing ever like if you guys still eat me out there try you some fried turkey you won't be disappointed it's it's actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie it's it, you know, added something to my plate, my palate, and my my mouth. So the overall Thanksgiving feel last year was kind of like confusion. And then suddenly I figured like out what I was going to eat and how to like change everything around for Thanksgiving. Because traditionally, like I said, my family, we stick to a plan and we have like the same foods for years and i actually also make the deviled eggs for my family so that's something that i still eat and that is vegan and i still make that and it was vegan before even i didn't have to really change anything about that but that's necessarily something i do every year and i'm still going to do it this year as in terms of this thanksgiving and what i'm expecting i'm expecting a better like options and such of adding like more vegan foods to the menu and you know trying out different vegan thanksgiving uh foods such as like vegan turkey i actually do have a vegan turkey out there so i'm hoping to you know add that into the whole situation <laughs> but i would say for sure last thanksgiving was a whole thing i didn't know how i was gonna do it well, how was I gonna even come to my mom and be like, "Oh, well, you're gonna have to switch up your little, <laughs> you're, you're gonna have to switch up your recipes for us." But she was more than willing to help us and accommodate, you know, our lifestyles, and I love her for that. <laughs> and for the dessert, my mom actually makes that too, and she makes like the chocolate cake and lemon cake, and that is so good. We necessarily don't have to change anything in those either, because they're vegan my mom made them vegan and she didn't add anything that you know i couldn't eat but yeah that was kind of like my whole experience of eating thanksgiving food as a vegan it was great it was cool i think it's gonna be better this year and i think this is a nice video to do right before thanksgiving holiday for my vegans out there you know get out there try foods try different recipes they have a bunch of thanksgiving recipes online so if you're looking for a vegan thanksgiving dinner then you should definitely look up look up on google like different alternatives to your favorite foods and stuff like that because it's a bunch 
but i hope you guys like this podcast and maybe i'll do some more in the future but i'll see you guys later peace